What's up, YouTube world? It's Coffee tapping back in with another one. A quick news update for you guys. I'm sure by now everyone has heard R. Kelly sentenced to 30 years in federal prison. Um, you know, from day one when this news happened, I had shared, you know what I'm saying, that R. Kelly, I was a big fan of R. Kelly. But when you, you know, come to hear of what's going on, what he's been up to in his life as the way the court put it, they said to R. Kelly... You left uh, throughout your whole life, you left a wake of just destroyed lives, victims, you know, um, you know what I'm saying? R. Kelly, I don't think felt I don't think this guy felt what he was doing was wrong, you know, because he continued to do it his whole life. He was a sick individual, um, plain and simple, you know what I mean? And I, I shared, um, as I stated on this channel many times, I was a big fan of R. Kelly, but when you hear what he was doing. It's like you don't want to support someone like that. And then on top of it, the content of his music and then, you know, what he was doing. It's like it's all so disturbing. You know what I mean? But um, I want to know what you guys think about this. Right. Because at the end of the day, these are all sick individuals. Right. I I'm not trying to argue for one or the other. I'm just purely honest to know what everyone thinks. Prosecutors asked for R. Kelly to get 25 plus. The judge went with that, hit him with 30. Um, in Ghislaine Maxwell trial yesterday, um, you know, or I'm sorry, not trial, sentencing, the the uh, prosecutors were asking for 30. The judge went with 20. Um, and again, these are both sick individuals. I'm not trying to say, oh, one's like, no, nah, they're all sick creeps. I just, um, you know, was having a tough time understanding yesterday why uh, Maxwell only got 20. Um, someone that commented, one of my uh, viewers commented and was like, uh, you know, and this individual that commented was a woman. And they were saying, yo, coffee, I think it's because a woman, they went uh, not light on her. They gave her 20 years, but the judge almost did her a favor. I was shocked by that. We saw all the disturbing ish that was laid out in the whole Epstein case. And, um, you know, this guy had all these different locations around the world and everything. It was it's all it's all just so sick to even speak about, you know, but I just couldn't understand why the judge showed her any leniency at all, why she was not maxed out. You know what I mean? She was trying to like flip it to the judge like, oh, I'm this victim. I was a victim of his, too. And listen, you, she was at this ish for a decade. She was at this for a decade. It's like you were at that for a decade and you never reckon, recognized what you were doing was wrong. You know, come on, spare me that BS. Um, and, you know, with R. Kelly, it, it's like I, I think R. Kelly thought he was unstoppable, you know, um, as we saw the first time around. It, it was crazy, you know, and it, not only did R. Kelly beat that first case, but the court of public opinion fell back on R. Kelly. You know what I mean? There was a tape. Um, you know, uh, all in all, he ended up beating the case. Uh, they, they said there was witness tampering, victims not showing up to court. And then there was that whole narrative that it was his brother. And, you know, so all in all, when he ended up beating that original case, what was that back in, what, 2002 or somewhere around there? He beats the case. And I feel like a lot of people ultimately ended up saying, thinking the whole narrative that it, it may have been his brother is what made people kind of fall back off from looking at this guy like, yo, you're a sick individual. You know what I'm saying? Because artists were still collaborating with R. Kelly. But um, I don't know. You know, here it is now. The feds ended up coming for him. Um, what yo, what ended up happening? Can someone comment to what ended up happening with the state case? Because if you recall, he was also indicted on a state case in uh, Chicago, right? Um, Cook County, right? And then the feds came and got him. I, I can't recall what the outcome of uh, of the state indictment was. But again, these are just all sick individuals. I'm just saying I don't know why the judge showed any leniency to the wicked just, just Lane Maxwell. Um, but, you know, R. Kelly, we saw when this guy, you know, we, we heard from everyone throughout the duration of the case and the evidence that was presented this guy just traveled around the country uh even out of the country you know with 
groups of underage girls. It was sick-ish. Um, I don't know. Comment. Let me know what you guys think about this one. I When this case first jumped off, a lot of people were getting mad at me, you know, because a lot of people, I don't know if they didn't want to believe it or not, but it's like, nah, Kells was foul, right? But um, I was like, this guy's going to die in prison. And that's just the fact of the matter. He's going to die in prison. And now we hear, what is he, 55 years old, 30 years, all in all with the time calculation. I don't know how it'll um, end up working out, but essentially that's that's our Kelly's life right there, right? Um, but that's all I got on this one, guys. This was just a quick one. Let me know what you guys think about it again. I'm not arguing. It's It's disturbing and disgusting what was going on in both these situations. But why did Maxwell get any leniency? You know, and that's what it is. I'm just, let's get the comment thread going. Make sure to sub to the channel. If you're new, hit the notification bell. And, you know, looking at all this too, as I close this out, um, you know, there was a something that was being said outside the courthouse yesterday at the Chislaine Maxwell sentencing. You know, one of the victims was essentially, I think they said, we got to celebrate these uh wins or whatever, you know, and was just saying that trying to urge others to come forward if, if it's like this happened to them, you know, because so often sick creeps violate people and get away with it. So, you know, this just goes to show you none of these um, deviants, like no one should ever hold back from turning in none of these deviants because they're just going to continue to victim. For one, it's just it don't make sense, you know, it don't make sense, uh, for someone, you know, them to be out in the world because they're going to continue to violate people. That's what they do. I, I think we've seen that. Like, does anyone actually believe that deviants get better? I don't believe it one bit, you know? So I'm out of here. Thanks for watching again. Subscribe. Let's talk in the comments. I'm gone.